Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we installed the Tallinn CSS and the JSON server. We created the files, the database db.json with some movies here. Now in this video I want when we navigate to the slash movies to get the movies and display here. And also we need to add the header but that's in the next video in this video i'm going to get the movies and display here so let's open the vs code and inside the source views we have this movies view and in the script i'm going to import from the view the ref and also the on mounted Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to create a constant. I'm going to say const and let's say movie list is going to be initially a ref with an empty array. Then I'm going to call the unmounted. And here, I'm going to say an arrow function here, an anonymous function, and call fetch to fetch the movies pro from the local host 8000 slash movies okay and we have the movies here so because we have run the json server watch db and we change the port okay so we can add here that url and let's me come here and copy that or to save some time then i'm going to say then dot then then uh, let's say response is going to be the response dot json and then we are going to assign i'm going to call it api movies and we need to assign the movie list with what we get here so a movie list dot value because the movie list is uh, assigned with a ref and we need to get the value it's going to be equal with the api movies okay and now if i just come here and say preview the movie list but we need to add in the double curly braces like this and let's save from here and as you can see we have the movie list very good now we need to display them and i'm going to display in the nice uh, card create with the uh, css so let's go inside the components and create new file I'm going to name it movie card dot view. Okay. And here let's say V setup. First we need to define a prop. So define props. We need to have here the movie. We expect the movie to be an object. okay and now here let's design that i'm just i'm going just to copy and paste to save some time for you okay so here i added a div with a class max width small bg wide uh, rounded large added a border and border gray 200 
and on dark border gray 800 also on dark i added the border gray 700 then we added the plus flex justify center padding top of three and the image with glass rounded top large we bind the source and added the movie poster here because we expect the movie here and also for alt the movie title then i added a div with class padding of five and here we added the h5 for title movie title with class margin bottom two text to excel font bold dragging light uh, text gray 900 and on dark text white then i added the span class margin right of four and added the movie year and then a span to add the movie runtime let's save and let's go now inside the movies and here i'm going to make a loop and add the movie card okay so let's come here and instead of just uh, let's leave that h1 and i'm going to say movies here okay and then after this one i'm going to add a div with a class grid and i'm going to say grid calls three and i'm going to add a gap of uh, four okay and inside i'm going to add the movie card component we need to import that so let's import up here import the movie card from and we are inside the view so we need to go up and inside the components we have this movie card so let's say dot dot slash uh, components slash the movie card dot view and we need this dot view because we are using a uh, vid and then here now let's say movie card and we need to make a v4 here v4 movie in movie list add the key which is going to be movie.id because we have the id in the db.json as you can see okay and then i'm going to add a movie as a prop which is going to be the movie and that let's self close that and let's save and let's navigate now in the browser as you can see here we have the movies with all the details but uh, if we go inside the app here when we added the router view i'm going to cut this and add a div with a class to be max with 7 excel mx auto and inside paste that router view it's save okay now let's navigate and see yeah we have something like this but the header is uh, is not in yeah the header we have here so let's cut and paste also the header in the in this one so we can have the header here now in the next video i'm going to add a navigation so when we click to go to the home and then go to the about and also go to the movies okay so see you in the next video all the best